guys, let's get back. Now, before we get the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell icon so you know when someone here uploads. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your micro battlefields into double ones and double worlds into battle worlds. So, the world I'm going to be using is, of course, our Kutumina. And if you don't know how to build this beautiful architecture, make sure to watch one of my previous episodes where I show you how to build this using coding the link will be either down in the description box down below or you'll see an eye icon over here or here on your screen so if you click on that you'll find the link and yeah so let's get in the video Now we can just save and quit this world. We go to our Chrome, wonderful Chrome, over here, and we press talk. Now there are two ways you can um convert your world. You can I can either go to a world folder, or you can of course go to an archive and about that. Now this is made by games uh limited and it has an exclusive license for minecraft so this is basically like um minecraft's official um you know it's an official world converter so yeah <laughs> so let's take out now i'll be showing you both world folders and archives so yeah let's see the world folder first and let's go so, um, app data. So, percentage app. App. Oops, sorry. App data. Percentage. We click on that. And then, now you can see, we see the folders on Minecraft Java, but not Bedrock. So, what we can do is we click on app data. Go to local and start roaming. And go down and down and down. Uh, you'll see packages so we can just oh, click on that and then if we go down we should uh, find my Microsoft dot Minecraft so there it is we can open that we go to local state games com dot mojang we go to Minecraft world and we can see our worlds by date modified because it has some random names like what is VU minus x and we have some questionable names but of course we can see it by the name at the date now i know that mine is today's date because duh we just played it so let's take this one and oh my bad we need to just click on that and upload it so we can just press on upload and start upload and now we can change the version for both bedrock and java now there is an advanced mode but i ain't going to show you that on this video maybe in some future videos i'll be showing that but for now let's just stick to what we have so we have 1.19.1 convert and download and let's download it so download and just close that real quick and i think it's downloaded so now what we can do is we go to our downloads folder real quick we copy this go to minecraft um app data again um percentage app data percentage and we enter go to my uh, dot minecraft we go to our saves over here create a new folder called kutumina now this is going to be it will automatically make a new world so yeah we can just open this paste this extract all just press extract and then now we do have um this folder over here 
Now inside this we have another folder. Uh, we have this. Now we have this, but we need to delete this because we already extracted all that. So we can just delete that. And what else we can do is we can just take all of this. Uh, oh, not paste it. Ah, uh, and can we just undo that? Oh God. Uh no. So we can just do all of this. Um, we can just cut that over here to keep it over here. We can paste that, and we can just delete this. <laughs> so we have all this inside our okay, over here, and we can just minimize this for now. We can just close that too. And let's go to Minecraft Java Edition. So we can go to Launcher real quick. This should take some time. <laughs> Load it, load, and then we can press sick player, and that should make our work. So we can just see if our Kudamina is successfully imported or not. Let's see, it's loading, 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 loading. It's loading, that should work soon. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited, guys. Wait. It works. So we got Kutubina in Minecraft Java now. <laughs> Something that we made in Bedrock has been import imported to Java. Now, if you want to know how to do this Java to Bedrock, so that right now. So we can just minimize this, this restart the process, choose world folder. <laughs> we can go to dot Minecraft. Um, of course, by going to percentage app data, app data percentage there. Go to dot Minecraft. We go to saves and saves, and we have uh put them in right over here. We can just upload that, upload. Start upload and okay. Now we can choose um, Bedrock 19.20 and convert and download. So that's gonna soon download this. We can download that. And now the difference for this is actually the way you can open this is super simple we just go to downloads you can see that it's saved over here but if you see it closely the logo is for education edition and we don't want that so we can go to minecraft over here and you can see it's imported world now i do have to because i just started with the normal one so yeah we can just um you know go back in there <laughs> and see it one last time and there we go and then we can close that. <laughs> so now I'll show you how to do our art chips. Now our chip files are actually super easy. So <laughs> yeah, so first I'll show you backdrop to Java. So now this is very easy. We already have this over here, so we can just take that and open that, start the upload. Um and now we can just convert that to java 19 by one now this is like quick you can go like sonic this is super fast actually <laughs> and then we can just start with this now since i already showed you the world i don't know how to show you me opening that again so i can just go this and we can open the archive files now since we uh, downloaded this we can just open that and we can change this to bedrock convert and download and um, real quick that should do that and let's download it and wait did i do this into a bedrock world oh no i think i did it into a bedrock world wait did i um, wait, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, God. I don't know what I did there. 
Um, so we made a bedrock world into Java and a Java world into bedrock. So that's how we do it. It's super. Now, I you do artists because it's super simple. You just, if you already have one dollar, it's like you, you're Sonic. You can do it quick. <laughs> well, for those, of course, it takes some time, but of course, it's the same. It's the same, basically. So I hope you did understand me like what i showed you guys right now i don't know if i was too fast for you guys or too slow for you as i'm sure you know i'm here but yeah that's our video hope you enjoyed make sure to like share and subscribe to the notification bell i don't so i was one of my new uploads and i might be showing you the advanced mode in one of my future uploads just like i said i'm not sure maybe 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 just maybe so i'll see you till next time goodbye